People are upset at Albion Online. Why are they upset? What are they upset about? That's what we're going to talk about today. This is on our agenda. This is updates and ramblings. We're going to talk about the 30% gold tax that hit the game. Albion Online's content creator program nerfs, which I am not part of, but I can still talk about it. And this game's bleak and um, painful future if things continue the way they are. The agendas that other creators will be pushing in the coming days. And some other fun rants, so let's get into it. So let's talk about the 30% gold tax. And this really, really, really hurt people that hoarded gold. If you had 10 billion silver worth of gold, you now only have 7 billion silver worth of gold. This is an enormous and insane money sink to hit the game. Lucky for me, I rage sold all, all of my most of my gold on all of my accounts and characters, so I wasn't hit by it. But a lot of this is this is an I quit part of the game. This is a people are going to quit the game over this. This only hurts veteran players, and you could say that their reasoning is to lower the price of premium. It it's not lowered nearly enough. It lowered maybe a million in the four or five days now. It has not been lowered that much at all, and it's not going to be lowered. Now, I'm going to teach you how to take advantage of this because um, right now uh, there are you know people that still want to buy gold because what they're doing is they're just hard quitting, and here's how to take advantage of this. So what you want to do, like for instance, let's say you want to buy premium, right? You want to buy premium, it's 20.3250 million silver. So what you do, you don't use this screen, you go to orders and you go to set up a gold buy order. You want to buy 3,750 gold. And what you want to do is look at this number, 4053, go up by one. So you want to type 4054 here and then buy 3,750 gold for a duration of, uh, let's say a week. So right now, if you want to buy premium the cheap way, and um, let me just tell you, if this video gets popular, this won't work anymore. <laughs> I'm only going to pay 15,202,500 silver for a premium, essentially. That's pretty good. That's way better than paying the 20 million. And it says plus 30% purchase fee. So what, what does that mean? So f I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn on a little display capture here, and uh, we're going to do some math. So 15, 202, 500 plus 30%. Uh, oh, wait, it's not really that good anymore. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely not that good. It's, um, we're saving about 250,000 if we do it that way. <laughs> oh, boy, that sucks. So here's the thing, right? It's still a way to save money. But the reason for this, okay, th this just hurts card swipers. This is just, it hurts everybody, right? Let's say I wanted to, to, to buy 1,000 gold. Well, look at that. I'm paying 5.3 million for 1,000 gold. Let's say I want to sell 1,000 gold. Well, right now I'm selling it for 4 million. <laughs> so I lose 1.3 million silver in that transaction, which, which sucks. That's awful. That's really, really bad. And Again, if you're a new player, it doesn't affect you that much. It's not it's not beneficial to you as a new player. Here's how Albion Online works for anyone who's played the game for more than three months. You pretty much have enough silver to buy anything you want in the game. If you've done your you know due diligence, you may not be able to buy like a command mammoth or anything, or even a regular mammoth. But for your gear and your premium and all of that stuff and auto respect costs, repairs, re-gears, all that stuff, you will be able to afford it in three months' time if you are a complete like idiot, right? So what do you do with all your extra money? You invest it into things. You buy skins and you sit there and hold on to them. You buy equipment. You buy gear. You maybe level up some crafting or something, but you invest it into something to make you money later. Well, every single person who's been playing for the past three to five years almost all always invested into gold at some point or another. What, what usually happens is players will, at some point or another, quit Albion Online. Not permanently, but they'll take a hiatus. Maybe they're going back to school. Maybe they want to go play Baldur's Gate 3, or they want to play Dark and Darker, which, um, by the way, guys, um, if someone wants to gift me Dark and Darker, um, <laughs> apparently you have to pay for Dark and Darker. I didn't know that, so um, hit me up. Please hit me up and gift me Dark and Darker. Thank you. But anyway... <laughs> So people like to take a break, and of course, the price of gold is always rising, or at least it used to be before this change happened. And maybe five to ten years from now, it might rise again. I don't. I don't think it is. I don't. I don't. 
Like, I think people are too scared to touch gold now because who says that next week that it's not, it's more than 30%? Who says it might be 50% or even 80% or even 100? Who knows where the sky's the limit? I don't trust SBI anymore to not pull a fast one and add a fee to everything. So I'm never touching gold ever again. The only reason I have gold on this character now is because as a YouTuber, I get 500 gold every once in a while when people use my referral links. And I keep enough for one month of premium because that's what my fans want me to do. But other than that, liquid silver is the way to go. Just keep all, don't even buy equipment. Don't buy guild halls. Don't buy all this crap. You know, don't go buy mammoths. Don't go buy 8.4 gear. Say, just hold on to silver. Raw silver is king. Do not invest it into skins. Do not invest it at all. It is a bad, bad, bad idea. All right, so with that said, let's move on to the next topic. Let's talk about the content creator program nerfs. And this is funny because I made a video just, a, I don't know, a few days ago talking about how you could go to Twitch or, you know, people's discords and get free seven day premium codes and skin codes and all that kind of stuff, which is actually way better than manually farming the damn gold to pay for premium. Because we just talked about premium. Oh, it's 19.850. Oh, look, it just jumped down again. But uh, that's because someone used my tip. But the point is, is that uh, you can, you know, go to these streams and you have a pretty high percent chance to get just a week's worth of premium. I still have one. Look at that. Giveaway, seven days of premium. They're easy to get. You just sit in people's streams and, and do the giveaways. Simple, right? Well, guess what? With the new content creator program, which I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not a part of it, okay? So they won't ever let me into that thing. And it's so stupid of them. I'll talk more about that in a bit. But... It went from like 32 codes per month down to eight. So instead of streamers giving away eight codes a stream, they're going to maybe give away one or two a stream, depending on how often they stream. These codes are about to get a lot more rare and a lot more harder to acquire. So uh, if you're watching this now, you need to start loading accounts onto Twitch and just plug them into everyone's stream and get as many, get in as many giveaways as possible so that you can scoop up these codes before they become very rare and hard to get. Now, I want to talk about actually having you guys be content creators because it's really simple to make videos in 2023. Even the weakest, crappiest computers can do it. If my computer from 2010 can make videos on like an RTX, four, or not RTX, like a GTX 4, 460, you guys can totally do it. It's really, really simple. But you only need like an average of 1,000 views per video or just an average of 1,000 views per month or something to get into it. Let, let me let me show you how, how it works and how to get into it. So so what you do is uh, you go to albionline.com and then when you click news, there will be this uh, community news. Albion Online Creators Program opens its gates again. You click here, blah, blah, blah. You can read this. You go to the forum post. The forum post wants you to make a Lurkit account, which I have. So I'll show you my Lurkit account now. Uh, this shows my followers, and you'll notice this is when I started covering a different game, right? Like my sub, sub count goes up about 50 to 100 a day, and then it skyrockets when I cover anything new. So why am I incentivized to make Albion videos when I could make any other game videos and have way faster growth? So right now, there's really not an incentive for me to like make Albion videos other than the love of the game itself, right? But um, when you go here to Creator Programs Beta, there's a bunch of other companies on this website. Uh, and the way this works, this website works, is you can just get free game keys if you're a content creator, right? It's kind of one of the incentives to make videos is, you know, uh, before I show you this, like, I can just go to browse keys and I can, I can pick up some new games for completely free. This is not sponsored, by the way. This website is not paying me to talk about them. I'm simply just sharing basic knowledge as YouTubers have. So if I wanted to play Remnant 2, that's a popular one. Well, they're out of keys, whatever. Um, didn't request one in time, but like this Occupy Mars game. I don't know. It might be a cool game. I could request a key, get it free on Steam and play it, and then make videos about it. I don't have to make videos about it. I, I, I can if I want to. It's kind of mean to get a free game, though, and not make a video about it. It's a real kick in the pants. But uh, let's go to the Creator Programs beta, and then you click Memberships. And here it is, the Albion Online uh, Content Creator Program. Obviously, it says here, waiting for access. That's never going to happen. They hate my guts. More on that later. But um, <laughs> other than that, you go to this forum post again, and all the link is here. You go to creators.albiononline.com. Once you've made your Lurkit account, uh, blah, 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 you scroll down here, click Join the Creator Program, and then you read all the stuff. Who reads this stuff anyway? And then you type in all your credentials here, right? And you click got it, and then you join the program. Simple as 
very simple to do. You don't post here and and spam your Twitches and your YouTubes. That's not how that, that's not going to get you in. But uh, <laughs> once you've done that, you get a free premium for being a content creator. You get a pretty kick-ass a little avatar up here in the on the top left, which I don't have because, like I said, I'm not in the program. Uh, you know, you get to change, yeah, the avatar ring. You get a little content creator when it's like yellow or something. And other than that, uh, you get codes to give out, which most people just give it to their friends or their alt accounts. And there are many people that do that, which you shouldn't do. But I'm, you know, I'm just saying. So what about the part where I don't get to be in the program? Here's the thing, right? S Sandbox Interactive, the people that made this game, three years ago, or three and a half years ago now, I chewed out a game master in the English chat calling him a janitor, and they muted me for it, whatever. And I've, I've tried to contact them like every year since and try to make th things straight with them. I've tried my, my damnedest to rectify it, to, you know, get them to get over it. And uh, to make amends so we can work together. Because here's the thing. that I don't know if you realize or if they realize. I get more views, more watch time, more subscribers than any other content creator for this game. I'm not trying to boast. I'm not trying to, like, pound my chest. I've worked very hard to, to, to get there, right? I have worked my... I have devoted my life to this game, basically. And uh, they still hate me three years later. They they won't let me in their discords. They don't want anything to do with me. They ghost me when I email them. I have tried to contact them many times about things. They never reply. To me. The only time they reply to me is when they want me to delete like a glitch or a bug video that they don't want the public to know about, right? Uh, and usually those are members-only videos. By the way, members-only videos right down here. Uh, SBI made me tell you that there is no dupes and no exploits in the members-only section. There is only advanced tips, advanced guides, and, um, you know, just things that are too good for the public. But no cheats, no exploits, none of that stuff. Right down here, click join. It's five bucks a month, just like subscribing on uh, Twitch. It's on YouTube. Five bucks a month, members-only videos. Check it out. It's pretty damn good. It's totally worth your money. And, um, yeah, anyway, so back, back to the video subject, right? I have, I have more views, more watch time, etc. than any other content creator, and I am not allowed in the program because they don't like me. And that's, that's just how it is. And it, it's, it sucks, but, um, I've tried emailing them about it. I've tried emailing Stillfront. If you don't know who or what Stillfront is, Stillfront is the company that bought out Albion Online or bought out Sandbox Interactive they own the game company Sandbox Interactive. Now, this company that bought out still or bought out Sandbox Interactive, they've been having some financial troubles. All right, here's their stock price as of uh, January 25th, 2021. I don't remember exactly when Stillfront bought Sandbox Interactive, but after they did, it's been crashing. Look, at year after year, here's 2022. It just keeps going down and down. There's another down. It go, went up a little bit there in December 2022. Went up a tiny bit and then went back down. And then it went back up and now it's going back down. And boy, oh boy, that is dirty. That is bad. That is messed up. Now, here's the thing. I have actually tried to contact Stillfront uh, about this content creator thing, even though, you know, they don't have anything to do with it. They don't make the game. They're not in charge of the game, right? But they do own the company that's in charge of the game. And they just ghost me 100%. 100% ghosted emails. They don't reply to my emails. They don't, they don't return phone calls or anything. All right. And with that said, also, I decided to, you know, make a different random Gmail account and email Stillfront and pretend to be a millionaire investor, you know, with a big portfolio. And they got back to me in, in one hour. In one hour, they got back to me immediately. And they're like, oh, man, we would love to talk more about this. Can we set up a meeting? Blah, 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 blah. And yeah, it, it's it's pretty obvious that um, that they're ghosting me on purpose. And, and that's fucked. That's messed up. That's screwed up. All right. So if you guys could help me out and I, I, I'm not trying to do like a call to action here. I'm just trying to say like if you if you guys have a way to contact SBI or just go to the forums or the discord and, and just talk about it. Now, I want to I just want to mention too that if you mention my name on their discord on their Albion TV streams or even on the forums, there is a absolute possibility that they just outright ban you for taking my side or trying to help me out i am like voldemort to these people my name is not to be mentioned like it's so weird it's so scuffed and messed up 
But you guys that aren't me, that haven't called someone a janitor three and a half years ago, are completely fine at signing up for this program, getting your 1,000 views, which is totally... I can teach you how to get 1,000 views in this game. No problem. I'll just join my Discord. I'll teach you how all the YouTube stuff works. It's really, really simple. I can get you like thousands and thousands of views, more than I even get. Um, just because you'll be a new face and uh, you might have something unique to bring to the game. It doesn't matter. If you're a newbie or a veteran, you can you could easily get a thousand views per video. Easy, easy, easy. So hit me up in the Discord if you want to learn how to do that. And once you get those sweet premium codes, maybe you could pass me one, you know, just saying, you know, just if it's loud or whatever, you know, just invite me to your stream and be like, hey, we're having a giveaway. And then I'm like the only one there. And then I claim it. Thank you very much. And <laughs> we both benefit. Am I, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just messing because I've got a lot of other games. I, I want to talk a little bit more about content creation too. So just real quick, we're going to use a little calculator magic here. If I have 26,589,006,000 views across my channel and I divide it by 1,376 uploads, that means that I get an average of 19,317.5 views per video. And uh, Albion only wants 1,000. And here's the thing. I shit out a video almost every day. I poop out videos like, like crazy. They're basically just, oh, hey, let's make a video. Low effort, no editing, just... Pump and dump videos, right? So if you actually put work into making just, you know, one nice, well-presented background music, some funny edits like the bonk noise that you hear in, um, like, Goldstein's videos or Only Rats or whatever, you know, those kinds of edits that keep, you know, viewer retention and stuff, I can teach you all that stuff too, then you can, you can get way more than 1,000 average views per video. I'm telling you, it's super easy. So this will tie us into the game's bleak future, the next point that I want to talk about, and that is... People are absolutely not hype at all for the new stuff coming to the game. They are not hype for the new weapons, the new potions. When I made a video that took a leak from a Chinese Billy Billy content creator, no one cared about the stats on the weapons, the spell ability names, the effects. No one cared about the how to craft it. Like I still I, I still see it in other people's Twitch streams, you know, asked on, on Discords, like, what is the materials to craft the new shapeshifter weapons? It's like, that stuff has been heavily leaked already, and these guys, like, no one cares. It, it's not being searched for. There's, I want to show you just how, how bleak Albion's future is compared to other games at the moment. But before I do that, let's talk about content creator stuff just a tiny bit more. So, for those that don't know, uh, when you do content creation, you get ad revenue based on views. So, like, 1,000 views equals a certain amount of dollars. Well, it's based on where you live and the audience that watches your content. So I live in a place that's extreme poverty. So what this means is that advertisers, which are done through auction through YouTube, they, they the highest bidder gets the ads for the video subject, right? And so for Albion Online, for where I'm from, no, no one plays this game where I'm from. I think I'm like, there's like maybe one other guy that plays this game and he's hundreds of miles away from me. But uh, other than that, th th this game is just not played by anyone. I can go out in public. I can go to nerd places like comic book stores, you know, video game arcades, and, and you know, anywhere where video game nerds hang out. And no one in my area, or area in specifically, plays this game. So what that means is that advertisers, they know this. They're like, okay, so we have a swole binge guy here. He's from this location. And he's playing Albion Online. His main audience, the main percentage of people that watch my Albion Online videos, they are from the Philippines, they're from Singapore, India, uh, Russia, so on and so forth. Advertisers do not pay well for that type of audience. Also, just, for, just so you guys know, my audience is 99.999% male. That means there's one girl out of like thousands of you guys. And so advertisers know that men, also the age group, I'm not going to say the age group because that's a little weird, but the age group that watches my videos are not the types that spend money. So advertisers know all this stuff. And so when I run an Albion video, basically, because of all those metrics, I'm lucky to maybe break 10 cents per 1,000 views. I'm lucky to do that. Now, uh, another YouTuber admitted uh, in... Uh, a video once he's from Argentina and his his uh, view money thing is about 76 cents per thousand views 76 cents per thousand views would be freaking nice right uh now another one another content creator that doesn't make stuff for this game anymore he's from Spain 
And he claimed that in you know, he used to be a big boy on YouTube. He used to be really big for this game, but he never ever got nearly close the views that I did. He claimed that he made two hundred and fifty thousand dollars from ad revenue, which I don't know if he's lying or or bullshitting or whatever, but um, it might be true based on his his viewer audience and where he's from and the demand at the time. Because he also got in a little bit earlier than I did. Uh, like he was a, he was a full fledged YouTuber before I was on this channel. And I just want to put a little bit more into perspective for you guys. Um, whenever I make a Diablo 4 video on this channel, I'm getting anywhere from 3 to $8 per 1,000 views. And I, I need to show you some examples of why this is important. This is a tool from vidIQ called Keyword Inspector. Again, no affiliation, no, um, no paid anything. I'm not being paid to, to shill these guys. I'm going to type Albion Online into, into this. It's going to tell me how many people searched for the game on average in the last month and how much competition I have on YouTube. If I make a video, how many people are, am I competing with, basically? The competition score is low. It says 21. I don't know what 21 means. There's more than 21 Albion YouTubers, obviously. But the score is only 21. And with 709,000 searches on the game per month, this is the score, 77. Now, you may think, oh, damn, that's a lot. You know, 709,000 people searching for Albion Online, that's pretty good. It's not bad. It's it's not terrible. So let's take a, a, a new game, you know, that came out. We'll it's called uh, Men of War 2, an indie game. It's not a bad game. It's all right, but uh, I would like to play it. But here's the thing, right? Men of War 2 only gets 111.8 thousand searches. That sucks. What about Diablo 4? Diablo 4 has been out for a while. It's technically dead because everyone quit. But in the last month, 6.4 million searches, right? That's pretty damn good. Like, it, there's a lot of competition, though, because there's more YouTubers, because it's a more popular game. You know, we could take other things like Ro, Ro, Roblox. Roblox. There we go. Let's spell it right. You know, that's 14 million. See, so by these numbers, I should be a Roblox YouTuber because I would get 14 times the views... All right, what about Minecraft? You know, Minecraft's always popular. 20, almost 23 million. Look at that. Now, here's another thing, too. I've been playing I've been playing a game called Paleo. Let's look at Paleo. This is free-to-play game. It's a little Farmville sim like Harvest Moon, Disney Dreamlight Valley, uh, Animal Crossing, right? It's a multiplayer Animal Crossing for free. Look at that. 3.147 million views or, or searches, low competition, the, there's no reason for someone like me to ever make an Albion video when I can just make Paleo videos and have a bigger audience with less competition. And here's the thing too, right? I, I just want to, let me show you one more. I just have to show you one. Baldur's Gate 3, look at this number, 29.9 million, only medium competition. Technically, this is the game I should be making content for, and I do plan to, right? Uh, but let's get back into the game just a bit so I can explain a little bit more. So in the example of Paleo, which I have made videos for so I can tell you the numbers, again, that game averages $2.25 to anywhere from like $4 per 1,000 views. However, the views come from all first world countries. It comes from United States, Canada, Germany, the United Kingdom, and Australia. That's the top five countries that are watching the videos. Uh, this is mainly because, you know, the game is a little bit intensive on computer specs. Uh, and uh, the type of game is more enjoyable for those countries, I guess, than a full loop PvP, you know, cutthroat game. But... Also, the age group is a bit older than Albion Online's to the point where they're at the age group where they have a bunch of money saved up. And so advertisers are like, hmm, you know, this age group, they spend a lot of money. But most importantly is it's a, I get over 25% female viewers. And females, compared to males, to advertisers pay out the ass. So what this means is that as my female viewer base increases for Palea, the, the ad revenue will just go up and up and up and up, right? So he, here's the raw, here's the basic raw numbers, okay? So I could either make one Paleo video or I can make 10 to 20 Albion Online videos. I could make one Diablo 4 video or I could make 30 Albion Online videos. So tell me again why content creators would spend time in Albion Online instead of, I don't know, making videos for anything else. 
And the answer is purely out of passion. As a YouTuber, I, don't, I can't talk about Twitch streamers, but as a YouTuber, passion is what will make your channel successful. If you love the game, if you are passionate about the game, then obviously you will... <laughs> Bandit Assault always interrupts me. You, you, will, you will always want to make videos for the game you're passionate about, right? And so, why in the hell would the content creator program... What do they have to gain from not letting me in, for one? What do they have to gain from having their biggest creator? I am the face of Albion. I am always talked about in the English chat. I am always talked about on everyone's Twitch stream. Every time I click on a Mogdun stream, it's so bitchy, so bitchy, so bitchy in the chat. Whenever I click on any of these girl gamer streamers, these VTuber girls, so bitchy, so bitchy. You know, when I click on a Tommy stream, ah, so bitchy, so bitchy. Like, it's never ending. It's like I am just the biggest talk of the town all the time, 24-7. And uh, <laughs> it's wild to me. Uh, also, if you like, I have more like that that keyword thing I brought up earlier. If you search my name compared to any other creator, I am searched ten to forty to sixty times more than anyone else. <laughs> so, so why would a company choose to shun and blacklist and not allow its biggest creator in the con? Like, here's the thing, right? If I get put into this content creator program, I lose a lot of creative freedom because they can be like, well, you're an official partner. You can only make videos that are positive about our game. You can only make videos that are uh, beneficial to us. I, you know, I wouldn't be able to make a bad review. I wouldn't be able to make a, uh, a video about how to abuse certain things, which um, I, I know a lot of glitches in this game that I've never published anywhere. I don't use them either because why the hell would I use one glitch? They'll ban me immediately if I do, and then I lose any chance of earning anything for this game. Like, I wasted three years of this game. I'm not going to just throw it away to teach you how to do a stupid glitch, right? But the point is, is that, like, if I was in the content creator program, I could be like, hey, hey, Shadow Brick, the guy that's in charge, I've got a bunch of glitches I want to show you so you guys can fix it and make the game better, haha. <laughs> you know, and then not only that, but I could teach all the other fuckers in the program, right? Uh, how to actually tag title, thumbnail, and, and index their videos properly so that when people search for something, it shows up. And you could Google all damn day and watch a million SEO videos, and you're never going to get it. I was taught by a literal YouTuber that gets 30 million views a month and has over millions of subscribers. All right, and uh, it's not what you think. It, none of these, like, dude, it's it's not a tutorial you can watch on YouTube, right? And so everyone freaking wins. I'm loaded in this game. I have hundreds of millions of silver and billions in assets that I can just dumpster into the trash fire with collabs. The only people that lose for me not being in the content creator program is everyone. You, the viewer, don't get giveaway codes. The other YouTubers don't get to grow and, uh, you know, share in my wisdom, for one. <laughs> And um, the, the company itself starts losing, like, here's the thing, right? What, once I find a game that's better than Albion, I don't have any incentive to really stay, right? I'm, I'm not in the creator program, so why the hell would I sit around and jerk off a company that hates my guts, right? <laughs> that ghosts me and won't communicate with me. There's no reason to. And then, like, you know, let's say something bad happens, like, like just earlier, the, the, the damn gold thing, which is, <laughs> is it gone? No, there it is. There it is. Um, <laughs> the gold thing, right? Like, you know, content creators in the program won't bite the hand that feeds them, you know? As a troll, I'll tell you right now, the weakness to defeat the troll is just pure kindness. That's it. Because we haven't been shown kindness our entire lives. So when you bite our hand, we bite your hand back. But if you pat our heads and give us scr scr scritches under the, under, under the neck or whatever, you, however you pet a dog, I don't know, then we lick your hand and we bark, you know, and... And whenever you want us to and, and stuff. We, what I'm trying to say is, is that this... Com Here's the thing. The reason why this company has a bleak future... Let's wrap this up because it's getting kind of long rants, which apparently San Medina hates when I do long rants. And funny thing, that San Medina guy, I, I made a reaction video where it's not meant to be reacted on Twitch, but he tried to anyway. He skipped all the important parts and made a complete ass of himself. So that's funny to me. But anyway, back to the point of why the game has a bleak future is... Here's the real truth, right? Whenever Stillfront bought the damn game from Sandbox Interactive, they got a big bag. They got a big heckin' bag. Millions of dollars. And there's only 80 people that work in Sandbox Interactive, to my knowledge. Probably less now. 
So I don't know how they distributed that. I don't know. I don't think that Robin Henke's kept it all. I mean, he's wearing an Apple watch for, you know, like that's a cheap watch for a CEO, by the way. Get a real Rolex, bro. You got the money. And um, <laughs> um, so they got the bag and they're like, well, we don't need to really do anything anymore. We're rich. We're successful. We made it. We will never have problems in our lives ever again. Money solves everything, right? So they just sit on their butts all day and, you know, just play the game that they want to play, which they, they play their own game, by the way. That's kind of the whole, like, like, have you ever seen Sword Art Online? The main villain of the first season is the game developer himself. He wants to play his own game, right? And, and that's what happens in this game. It's the exact same thing, right? Except we're not going to die if we die in the game in real life. And, um, you know, <laughs> all the other stuff that happens in Sword Art Online. But the point is, is that they got their bag. So the sooner this game dies, the sooner they can retire on a beachfront property and sit back, you know, with a harem of... Um, Southeast Asian women just at their beck and call. I don't know, or whatever their dreams may be, right? That's the whole, that's the truth. Let's talk about the agendas that are going to be pushed by official content creators in the program. So the, the first agenda is going to be a series of zero to heroes where they basically go into the mists, which is the current games, you know, content that um, SBI wants pushed. And what they're going to do with these Zero to Hero videos is they're going to show just how easy it is to make money and fame up. And what they're going to show you is, this is speculation, I can't fully predict this, but they will use a nature staff, probably a blight staff. They want more blight staffs for ZVZ, so they're going to show you the blight staff, which uh, if you don't know what a blight staff is, it's the little staff that lets you float around and heal everybody. So they're going to be using that. And they're going to show you just how easy it is to farm a black zone, you know, mist with it. Which, of, as a healing weapon, it's pretty OP. But, you know, it's this one. You float around and you heal stuff. So they're going to use th those weapons to show you just how simple it is to level. And here's what they're going to also show you. They're going to show you things that even veteran players never do. They're going to show you winning or escaping fights, which is that's not really an escape weapon. They're, they're never going to show you the 8.3, 8.4s that jump you. They're not going to show you all the gang banging you're going to get when you're in the black zone looking for a mist. I mean, hell, I, I even thought about doing my own. And just today, like, let's look at my deaths. Here's one where um, this guy with 500 more IP than me just straight up kills me. Because there's nothing I can do. That's in the mist, whatever. You know, I only lost 11k. I don't care. And then here's one. It says only two assists, but it was more like five assists. It's just the other players didn't bother attacking in time. 1,509 IP versus 681. Again, no chance for survival. This is what's going to happen to you constantly when you go into the mists, when you go into the Nightfall Abbey, when you go into the Black Zone. But regardless of that, what they're going to show you is things like they're going to kill spiders. They're going to kill crystal spiders in the Black Zone mists. And I'll tell you right now, I can. here's the thing. You're never going to kill a crystal spider without a specific healing build, in this case the Druid Staff, the Blight Staff. You're never going to kill a crystal spider with any other build Unless it's a higher item power build, which newbies won't be risking because they will be constantly killed and lose it all to the 8.3, 8.4, 8.1 players, right? Secondly, they're going to show extremely large loot drops from these spiders. I'm talking 900k, 300k, 500k, 200k drops. Spiders don't normally drop that much. Also, all of these players, because they're doing zero to hero, they will have premium active because you get three days of premium on your, you know, fresh character after doing the tutorial. The majority of the player base does not have premium. The majority of the player base won't ever be able to afford premium unless they pay with real money. And the majority of the player base do not spend real money on this game anyway. But also the majority don't even go to Black Zone. So part, part of this um, PSYOP, if you will is to try to push more numbers into the black zone. So SBI, they sit down with their content creators, they have a little presentation, a conference call, you know, a little voice chat, video chat, whatever, and they're like, okay, so in quarter seven, there's no quarter seven, there's only four quarters in a year, by the way, in quarter four, <laughs> we only had a, a, a tw an 8% participation rate in the black zones. We need to pump those numbers up, boys. Um, Professor, uh, no, that guy quit. Uh, he's covering another game, as he should. See, he's smart. He got out when he could, right? And one day, you're going to lose creators like Mog Dunn, who's going to wise up and realize that this game is not going to grow. Because he's, he's doing it as a business, 
right? He's going to realize that he could be, he could be way su- more successful doing Dark and Darker or any other game, right? <laughs> oh, man. And, and, you know, who's even left in the program? I don't even know. But they're like, okay, Mr. Um, Mr. YouTuber, we need you to make videos uh, promoting the Mists, you know, because our developers worked real hard on the content. <laughs> and that's what's going to happen. The second agenda is going to be a full-out assault on me, of course, because they updated the content creator program that uh, y- you can't bully, you know, you can't harass other content creators. But because I'm not in the program, I am open game. And, you know, I love it. I actually love the banter. I think, yeah, I bring back the old 90s internet, bros. Bring back the old Halo 2 voice chat days. Bring back the Call of Duty lobbies, the original ones. I want to live that life so bad, and I totally welcome it, and anyone that wants to pick apart my videos and stuff, you're free to do so, you're free to use my footage, my voice, um, you know, just, you can commentate over, don't just directly upload my videos, though, I, I'm not gonna copyright strike you, I'm not gonna be like, oh, he's using my content, uh, otherwise I would have done it a long time ago to, um, what, sign language gorilla, Coco, he did it, I don't care, I think it's funny, Right, and uh, uh, there was another one, a guy that uses a frost staff a lot. I forget his name. He's a cool dude. Um, starts with H. Heim, Heim, not Heimerdinger, Humperdink. Yeah, Humperdink did a video, right? Uh, and it was funny. I thought it was good. You know, I talked with Humperdink. He's a cool guy. Whatever, man. It's like this other person. It's just funny shit. The, the viewers love it. I love it. There's nothing to lose. Come at me, bros. I, I don't care. Now, another agenda also is going to be they're going to tell you that I bombed a funeral in Albion. And that's simply not true. Now, I'll, I'll tell you the story. I wanted to, but I didn't have the manpower to do so. A long time ago, there was a guy that was very early on in Albion's life. He was like a big Kickstarter supporter. He donated lots of money to the Kickstarter. He played with the devs. He was very close to the devs. He, he supported the game like crazy. And I forget how he died or why he died. I don't know. But at some point, the developers and, and you know the community team leads, whatever... On the Albion forums, hosted a they were going to host a funeral on the test server, you know, and people could attend and show up and and whatever, right? And um, I was trying to get people together to uh, destroy it, to completely eradicate it, run in there, you know, using full eight point four because or eight point three at the time there was no eight point four uh, because it's a test server and the gear is free anyway, so it's like mm, why not? Except no one wanted to do it. Not a single person. I don't really have friends. I don't have friends. I don't have com- comrades. I've got like two people, Dwarf the Door and Apocalypse, and I think they're playing other games right now. That's that's it, man. That's the only people like that have played with me in the past like three years of this game. And they, they, they didn't want to do it. And so it never happened. But people will go around and say that I did, oh, you bombed a funeral. Bros, if, I'm going to tell you right now. If I bombed a funeral the same way Serenity now bombed a WoW funeral... Or the same way the Enclave, which are people that I played with for 11 months, bombed a planetside funeral, then I would have had videos all over on the channel about it. It would have, you know, some commentator YouTuber would have reacted to it. You, you would see video evidence of me doing it. Why wouldn't I record it? I'm a freaking video game troll. That's what I do. That's what I live to do, right? And, and so that never happened, but people will be like, oh, it happened, uh, he bombed a funeral, blah, 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 blah. It's like, bro, I wish I did. I wish I did, but I never got to. And that's one of the agendas they're going to be pushing. All right, just random rant time, guys, let's go. So apparently there is a Spanish 10 versus 10 Hellgate Discord where they all abuse a glitch that allows them to get a huge fame bonus that they're not supposed to get, but they also queue up for the 10v10 Hellgate's basically as a team, and they don't fight each other. They don't kill each other. They just do the PvE objectives, and they do this to fame farm. They do this to, uh, you know, get silver, and then they RMT the silver, and yeah, some of them get banned for that, but they just make new accounts come right back, and it's been happening for a long time, and there is a rallying cry amongst the community to start invading these 10v10s and actually killing these Spanish players for abusing the game in such a way. I mean, they're not getting banned for the fame exploit, and I can't teach or really talk about the fame exploit. I know how to do it. It's really stupid. It's like it's super easily fixed. Hopefully it gets fixed soon. It probably won't be in a patch note, though. I'm I'm too afraid to even try to do it because I just know SBI would love to pull the trigger on me, you know, kick me down into the ditch and just machine gun my face off execution style the second that I reveal how to do it. So um, other than that, you know, 
people are pissed and they are starting to do the 10v10 hellgates to basically kill these uh, farmers. So I want to rant a bit about Twitch streamers and um, there's not really a lot that I get to shout out because I'm either banned or unwelcomed from, from most of the streams. But uh, let's just pull up the display capture here. And uh, I've been hanging out in, in Holy Jack of Jack stream and he's pretty chill. He's, he's all right. He, he's, he's a decent lad. But um, let's go to some Albion. Go to browse. Type Albion online. There we go. And I just have English toggled because I don't speak any other language. And I, I can tell you right now, like, Beast doesn't like me. I don't know why. I don't know who she is. Uh, Coco hates my guts. Uh, Professor PP doesn't mind. I, I'm pretty sure Magdan hates my guts. I don't know who this is. I don't know who that is. I don't know who she is either. I don't know a lot of these people. But um, it's a little too early, I guess, to, um, to point out all the haters. But there is so many haters, man. And, uh, you know, I, like, there, <laughs> um, I think some of them share, like, a ban list, because there was, like, someone's stream I, I had never went into once that was doing a giveaway, and I was like, I'll enter the giveaway. Every single thing I tried to say on my Soul Benji account was, oh, the moderators don't allow you to talk or something, and then, like, I just make a new Twitch account and I can talk immediately. It's so cringe, man. It, it's really hard to find refuge these days. Also, as far as community stuff goes, I have heard so many things from other content creators about just how bad SBI treats them, or ignores them, or ignores their plight, and it is just night and day when you compare it to other games. Let me just explain. Like, if you go to the Dark and Darker and you're a content creator, they, they treat you with respect, they answer your questions, they, they will email you back within like a couple hours if they're working at that time of day. SBI, they might get back to you in like two weeks in a support ticket. Oh boy, it sucks. And uh, you get ignored so, so much and so often about things. They make the craziest changes that makes veterans want to quit, that hurts new players. I mean, they ra they literally raise the cost of, of guild halls, the you know, making your own guild, all that stuff. That screws over the early economy so hard for new players, man. It just sucks. Uh, but another thing, too, is like if content creators point out a bug, um, it either gets stealth patched or the content creator gets banned for two weeks until they tell you to, to delete the bug video. But then they let people like Buddy, uh, who is another content creator, which whom they like, oh, he's free to post a video where you can teach people how to uh, tell if a dungeon is occupied or not. But I'm not allowed to. No, no, no. I'm not allowed to, but he's totally fine because he's a smaller creator and not many people will see the video. But when I do it, oh, ban, 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 delete the video or or we won't ever unban you. It, it's so stupid. It's so ridiculous, the kind of treatment. And, uh, you know, you may be wondering, why haven't I put why don't I post glitches or things? And that's why, because I will literally get banned if I post a glitch, but other people won't. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Uh, but not only that, like, um, on the, the new game I'm playing, Paleo, which has three times the player counts of, of this game, I made a simple video talking about animation canceling, which wasn't exactly a bug, but the developers saw my video, and then they added it in the patch notes and said it is now a feature that they fully support. So that was really cool to get acknowledgement from game developers that I've never really made contact with. It's just night and day, guys. You, like, I, I'm, I know you guys don't make content or whatever, but it, it really, really, like, like when one company has no passion for their audience, their player base, or their game, it really shows. And when another game does, you just feel it. You feel it, you know, from tip to top, tip to toe, I don't know how to say it, from top to bottom, you feel it. And now it's time for even more wild and crazy rants. SBI, stop being pissed about being called a Janny. Everyone wins, even you, if I get into the content creator program. Blasted Baron, congrats on being alive in this timeline. As a multidimensional being, this is the only one where, uh, yeah. Anyway, Mog Dunn, your talents and skills would serve you way better in a more popular game. You're basically wasting your potential in Albion. Uh, Coco, if you want to duel me so bad, pay for the set. Uh, San Medina, Alex is based, and Cargoz is cringe. And I even played on the same server as Cargoz in Classic. If you want to skip the vid and try to react to it, it just makes you look silly. Also, I'm not Canadian. Where did you get the idea I was Canadian from? Probably the person sending you docs information. Uh, mean Shock needs to stream more. You like the secret anime main character of Albion, just saying. Angry Wolf, I'll try to be more active in gank with you lads. On West, not East, sorry. Beast1k, why do you hate me, dude? You're nice to my alt characters. And Tommy666, why do you hate me? I, I never understood that. 
Equor, used to be based. What happened? I'll see if you haven't posted in two weeks. Is he okay, guys? King Mojo, why is your Discord nothing but MMA talk? Ugh, I want to talk about video games. I don't want to talk about burly men fighting each other. Jeez. Hey, Nazori, would you believe it if I told you I trolled your streams way back in the Arc Age days? T-Bands, why do you hate me? Is it because your pay piggies hate me? Is that why? I looked at your top donator list. Those guys hate me, so I guess you have to hate me too. That's called being controlled by your audience, which is bad news. Goldstein, stay based, and only rats. More content, please. Please! Look, at the end of the day, I have to pump out a whole bunch of Albion videos just to afford a small bag of rice and a bag of beans for the month. Or I can pump out Palea, Diablo 4, Baldur's Gate, Dark and Darker, please buy me Dark and Darker somebody, uh, videos, and I can eat rotisserie chickens, salad, vegetables, tomatoes, cucumbers, you name it. Uh, <laughs> and I don't have to pump out as many videos to be able to afford basic food, please. With that said, thank you for watching, become a channel member, already talked about that. And make sure you're subscribed. Give me to 100k. What, what if I told you I'll, I'll, I'll quit Albion forever if I get 100k subs? Now, 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 don't hit the unsub button to keep me here, guys. <laughs> I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving Albion at 100k subs. I'm just saying, you know, I mean, you know, I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Look, I, I'm always a variety gamer on all my YouTube channels. I've always been a variety gamer. I'm not going to just play one game. And, um... SBI, what the hell are you doing? With that said, click the video on the right side of your screen. If you don't, this game is just going to go under. So click it if you want the game to survive. Bonus footage. That's right. You get some extra footage today. Now, when I said at the start of the video that you should not hold investments, do not hold skins, I have Old Betsy here, which is a referral skin. It's the cow skin. This skin is pretty rare because not a lot of people did referrals during this time. You can see it's worth about 20 million. This won't be in rotation again for possibly one to two years, meaning its value will increase until it, you know, hits the stores once again next year or the year after that, and then it'll be less rare. So, screw it. I'm just going to sell it right now. I'm not even going to sell it. I'm just going to sell it for 20 million to this guy, and I'm only going to get 18.4 because I don't have premium active. And see you later, old Betsy. Free money for me. I don't give a crap. And, uh... Neither should you. Liquid Silver is king in this game. Investments are dead. Finally, I just want to really quickly touch on other games that I want to play on this channel. Hopefully you stick around and watch them. Uh, Dark and Darker. I need... Right now, it's not free to play. Uh, so I need someone to buy this for me so I can cover it. Uh, I definitely want to cover Rogue, uh, Berserker, Wizard, and the Warlock. Maybe even the, the Cleric or the, the Bard. I don't know, but... We'll see. Lots of content to be made for that game. Starfield, I also need someone to buy this. It is a single player game. I'm going to try to leverage my YouTube channel really hard to try to get this for free uh, to the company, but so far they've ignored me. Uh, Palea is free to play, by the way. You guys should play it. Like, Palea is great. Y'all should go play Palea instead of Albion Online. And I wouldn't be saying that if I was in the content creator program, but because I'm not, I'm telling you right now to go play and download Palea. Uh, go check out my videos on it, too. Star Citizen. I, I actually have a couple ships people gifted to me, and I can play this right now. I just don't have a guild to play with, so uh, let me know if you want to see Star Citizen. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3. I was gifted this game. Thank you very much. I gave credit in another video, I believe, and um, in a Paleo video, actually. So videos coming soon for Baldur's Gate 3. What, what I normally do in these types of games is I play an unarmed, no armor, no weapons punching character with no party members to see if I can beat the game. So that's what I'm going to initially do, and if that's impossible, then I'll just play it normally. So I'll see you in those videos. Please subscribe and click the video on the right side or, um, you know, a certain, a certain streamer and YouTuber is uh, not going to pull through.